The next thing that we're going to do is remove the valve springs and keepers. Now, I happen to have a spare valve here, and I thought we would go over it so that you understand it. On a valve, there's a indentation. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is just one type of keeper. There's a couple of different types, but this is the one that we're using. It's called the keyhole keeper. Looks just like a keyhole. And it has a little divot mm -hmm. on, on the keyhole. Can you see that on the, on the washer? And that shows us the opposite side of the release. Okay. That's on the opposite side of that little half moon is where you can pull this off of the valve stem. So it goes on like this and then over toward the half moon. So if you've got the half moon in front of you and you release the springs, bring, compress them, you can then grab this retainer and pull it off just like that. This is the intake valve and it has a spring and a retainer and this particular retainer is called a keyhole. Can you see how it has a large circle on one side and in the center a smaller circle? That's so that it can capture the valve stem. See how that is? It has that that groove in it right there. So to remove this, okay, there's a, a half moon cut out of this retainer. You want that half moon to be facing you when you approach this. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab you're going to compress the ring and the retainer and then pull it toward you. Okay? And that should be able to release it off of the stem. See that? Just like that goes in like this and this is how you would put it back on by the way just like that okay see you'd unrelease this and it would let the, the tension of the spring go out mm -hmm. but to remove this the valve let me see if I can twist it out you pull it toward yourself and boom just like that I'll show you on the exhaust valve. We've got this fully compressed, or fully uh, outstretched, if you will, open. Uh, open. So, and can you see the half moon is facing you? Yes, it is. It's facing out. What you're going to do is you're going to compress this just a hair. Mm -hmm. And you're going to force it in underneath the one end of the spring mm -hmm. and over the top of the retainer. Over the top of the retainer. Over the top of the retainer. Okay. So just push it in right there, if you will. Push hard. Oh, beautiful. No, did not. Yeah, yeah. No, just move that. Push it. There we go. Yep. Hey, now compress it. That's wonderful. That is super great. Okay, you see that? I do. Okay, now watch. I'm going to it fall. Slipped out. Okay, don't worry about it. No, no, you can't do anything yet. Let's I gotta, uh, I gotta move this engine till the exhaust valve comes out. Comes out where I can grab it with my fingers. Yes. Right there. Okay. Let me show the camera. See the exhaust valve? It's sticking out. And look at that. There you go. How easy was that? That was easy. Now you want to keep the exhaust valve, the same spring that it had, and the retainer. Don't worry about those. Okay. You just open it like this. Together. You don't want to mix right. springs and retainers right. with other valves. Okay. How wonderful. Congratulations. Good. Good. You did wonderful. We'll catch you on the next one. See you on the next one. Excellent.